First up today, there is a primetime special on WUSA 9 tonight. Looking at the protests, riots, and aftermath following the police shooting of a young black man, Michael Brown. This happened in Ferguson, Missouri in 2014. CBS presents 13 Days in Ferguson, featuring Cedric the Entertainer and his longtime friend, retired lead task force officer, Captain Ron Johnson, as they take a personal journey of remembrance. I spoke with Cedric the Entertainer and Captain Johnson earlier today about the special airing tonight. Police are confirming a male subject was shot and killed by police. And he put his hands in the air and he started to get down, but the officer fired several more shots. Several thousand people have gathered here behind Captain Ron Johnson, the man who is in charge of trying to keep security. We lost a young man, Michael Brown, in heartbreaking and tragic circumstances. He was 18 years old. My name is Cedric the Entertainer. Ron Johnson and I both grew up near Ferguson, and we've been friends for decades. That's why Mike Brown's death and what followed hurt so deeply. Please, Cedric, if you would take us back to this emotional journey that you two have taken together. You know, uh, we had to reflect on this. Uh, Ron, uh, Captain Ron and I grew up, uh, we were friends, uh, uh, you know, in, in, in lived in the same area. Um, Ferguson was something that was very true to us, very real to us. And uh, after the uh, shooting of Michael Brown, the, the unrest that happened afterwards, uh, Captain Ron was put in charge of dealing with that and kind of calming the city down. Uh, and so this was uh, something that we, we reflected on. We had an opportunity to do a book about his story and his time. And then uh, so we wanted to reflect on his time uh, in this 10 year anniversary about uh, what he had to do to deal with and something that was very intimate and true to us, uh, the killing of this young man. Absolutely, and, and so we can learn some lessons and also never forget. And Captain Johnson, I know uh, you were called upon to take lead during that time, and you know, it's, it's never easy, such an honor, but never easy, especially when all eyes in the nation are watching. So can you just tell us how you were able to step into that? Well, I think I stepped in it from a personal standpoint because I had personal uh, interest in that community. That's where I, where I grew up. Uh, in those early days, I began to see friends and acquaintances that I that I that I had in St. Louis, and so it was important. It was important that uh, as a leader that I stood up and and and, and helped our community uh, come to a peaceful a uh, point. Uh, we didn't solve it during those 13 days, but we did come to a point of peace where we could try to move on and get better. And I think a lot of that was thanks to your leadership and your compassion during that time. And, you know, again, here we are 10 years later. Cedric, what lessons have we learned and what progress have we made? I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of unfortunate overall in this country that it didn't feel like we've moved the meter much. I mean, it was so many of these incidents similar to Michael Brown afterwards. So, you know, in our country you had to deal with so much of this, the same storytelling. Uh, and, you know, I, that's why we thought it was important to not forget Mike Brown. You know, this was one of the first times we had to realize that, you know, someone was unarmed. They was asking not to, you know, for, for compassion. And yet there was none from the, from the officer point of view. And so uh, this is the way the community felt about it. And so we just want to make sure that, you know, we want to tell it, that story from the people of St. Louis, Ferguson, and how relevant it was to us and still is and how we feel like we can do better as a country. Absolutely, and Captain Johnson, I know you had the opportunity to sit down with the victim's father. How was that discussion? You know, for me, uh, it was a time to really express how I felt. I always tell people looking back, the one mistake that I wish I could change was that on day one of my leadership that I would have told uh, Mr. Brown and Mrs. McSpadden, Michael Brown Jr.'s parents, that I was sorry for the loss of their son. I don't think I did that quick enough. That should have been the first task and the first words out of my mouth. And so just have an opportunity for him to hear that, but not asking for his forgiveness, because I think that's something that I have to continue to work on within myself. Yeah, well, I'm, we cannot wait to watch tonight. Um, the whole nation hopefully will be watching. We want to thank you both so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Appreciate you. You can watch 13 Days in Ferguson right here on WUSA 9 tonight at 10 p.m.